This is Deshanta B, and welcome to Let Me Read to You. Disclaimer, I do not own or have any rights to the story that I will be reading today. I am narrating this story for educational purposes and for fun. The name of the story that I will be reading is called Coretta Scott by author Ntozaki Shange, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. You know what time it is. Let me read to you and stop playing. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. Some Southern Mornings The moon sits like an orange sliver by the treetops. Coretta and her siblings walked all of five miles to the nearest colored school in the darkness with the dew dampening their feet. White school bus left a funnel of dust on their faces, but songs and birds of all colors and rich soil where slaves sought freedom steadied them in the face of danger. Over years, learning and freedom took hold of Coretta's soul till she knew in her being that the good Lord intended freedom for the Negro. Martin Luther King Jr., a young preacher prayed for freedom. Coretta prayed. Two minds attracted in prayer. Yes, they could do something. Among the many who thought moral power would overturn Jim Crow. They prayed together, found joy, and were married. According to Gandhi, the humility of millions could free more than just one people. It could free the world. And the world for Coretta and Martin was the South. And they went to Montgomery to their new parish. and the Montgomery bus boycott, just the beginning of a long journey. More boycotts and sit-ins for many, many Negro students felt bound to do something. There were hundreds and thousands left behind. Negroes in shacks and cotton fields living in fear for their lives while they dreamed about the North. Hundreds, thin thousands, white and black marched in Alabama, Carolina, Georgia, and Chicago. A quarter of a million at the March on Washington 
peacefully singing, we shall overcome, and listening to the words that would inspire a nation. Things nature never intended a child to see haunted them. Tragedy accompanies growth, no matter who we are, and the Negroes are no different. But fervor for the coming vote and equality pushed Coretta to a peace and wonderment of the Lord. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Gonna keep on a walking. Keep on a talking. Walking up to Freedom Land. Singing. Always singing. Coretta Scott. The end. This is Deshanta B, the narrator of Let Me Read to You. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Coretta Scott by author Ntozaki Shange, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. The music bump in this video is available at the YouTube free audio library. Like, subscribe, and share this video. You know what time it is. Let me read to you. And stop playing. And until the next book. Bye guys.